pocketbook issues are one of the deciding factors in this year's election. But unemployment numbers seem to tell a good story. It's just under 5% overall. A sluggish recovery from the 2008 recession has left millions of adult males looking for work. For African-American men and for Latino men, unemployment is twice as high as that of white men. And now we're seeing an increase in white men who are unemployed. Reasons? Downsizing, layoffs, and a continuing exodus of manufacturing jobs. Here's Matter of Fact correspondent Diane Roberts. Hundreds of people showed up to pitch themselves to dozens of potential employers at this job fair outside of Washington, D.C. My company uh, downsized and I was laid off. Are you currently working? I am not right now. These quarterly Labor Department numbers tell the raw story. Black male unemployment not budging at a near constant of 9.5 percent. Latino male unemployment at 5.7 percent. And unemployment for white males at 4.2 percent. Now the number of white males without jobs is growing. What has that process been like for you? Frustrating. David McDonnell of Frederick, Maryland, has spent the last 16 years as a software solutions consultant until last month. I'm unemployed as of September 1st. Shocker. Took me by surprise. The staff in his department was cut in half, and now he's out of work. The frustrating part I have with it is the lack of response back. When you look around this job fair, you see an awful lot of men. But at one time, almost every man in America had a job. That's not the case today. I actually see more men looking for positions today than I have over the course of my career. Cindy Radke has been in the business of hiring for 20 plus years. She's the vice president of sales for Seneca One Finance in the D.C. area. Since the 2008 recession, 1.1 million white men between the ages of 25 and 54, the prime working years, lost their jobs. That's a larger number than Hispanic, Asian, or black men. African-American males lost 156,000 jobs in the same period. If I asked you 16 years ago, would you be in this situation, what would you have thought? No. I didn't think I would have been. I have some opportunities still on the pan, and they're still frying. It's just a waiting game. Uh, that's the frustrating part. All right. Well, thank you, though. Appreciate it. In Arlington, Virginia, for Matter of Fact, I'm Diane Roberts.